Hi everybody, it's Julie, and today we are going to be playing with playing cards. So we are going to be decorating or embellishing these cards to be able to be used to either make uh, journaling cards or embellishments, possibly clusters, or even something that you can put on the front of a uh, regular card or some cardstock and make into a beautiful Christmas card. Today we have six different playing card ideas. We have bloopers and we have presents. So let's go ahead and get started. You can see I've got three of the Santas. I've got some cardinals and some little chickadees. I think those are chickadees. I don't know for sure. And we've got this fun little Santa card here. So we have the, the Coca-Cola cards here. I do want you to know at the end, I will be telling you how you can uh, get one of these. <laughs> You'll have one day. <laughs> Because I'll be mailing a whole lot of stuff tomorrow. And so we'll add that into tomorrow's. Okay. So um, here we go. Let's go ahead and start with this one here. Okay. And a white doily. So, you know, the backs of the silver and gold doilies are white. And... I thought we could just go ahead, take it, and add it, wrap it around the card. Okay, I don't want to cover up the kitty too much. Okay, and then we can go ahead and sew around it. And that's going to give us, it's going to cover the back, and it'll give you some journaling space. So here we have our card, and... We have gone ahead and I've sewn around it. We have our journaling space. I'm going to go ahead and cut off this little piece up here. It's not quite enough to make it like a tab. So I decided I would go ahead and cut it off. So I have some of these. I picked these up a couple years ago at, uh, I think it was Staples. And so there, we'll go ahead and I can put this down and I can wrap it around. Yeah, we'll wrap it around. Okay. You can either wrap it around or cut it off. Now, after I've sewn this, you can go ahead and add some double-sided tape or um, to, to help with this. Or you can do a second um, stitch around. I did... Um, I did do this one ahead, so I've already put some double-sided tape underneath those two pieces. Okay, um, next we're going to go ahead and we're going to grab, this is a sheet of words from the Tim Holtz paper pad. And so it's from this one, from a, also from a few years ago, uh, Tidings it's called. Okay, so they also um, have words in here that are white. I have already cut those out in strips. Okay, but I do have this black one here. And I'll show you what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and make these very easy to use on playing cards, things that are harder to get things to stick to. I'm just going to go ahead and use my double-sided tape. And I'm going to do a couple of rows. Okay, so you can just, I mean, if you have a full sheet of sticker paper, you can go ahead and add this to a full sheet of sticker paper. I, um, because I still have a lot of this double-sided tape that I get at my $1.49 store, um, and it's thicker at, or wider. Um, I haven't purchased any sticker paper. 
there might be some sticker paper in some of the, the pieces from my dad. So now what I have is I have made this into sticker paper and I can go ahead and let's see, I'm going to cut out Santa Claus is coming to town. You know what? Maybe we should use the cutter. So Santa Claus is coming to town is in this line. I have, I have made my own stickers. These are all stickers and I think that'll make them easier to use. Um, okay, so that is a sticker. And I'm gonna go ahead and unstick the whole row. Okay, but I, I want just the pieces. I'm gonna go ahead and go. Santa. I, I've been doing um, this. This is probably going to be for my December daily, um, but maybe not. It might go into my embellishments or it might even become a some happy mail. Okay, there we go. Santa Claus is coming to town. So if you're using this for the uh, December challenge, the v the video de the details videos in the description box down below, um, this would be enough for actually it's more than enough for your base. Um, you have your doily, your sewing, you have your label, and right there you have enough. Um, at, with your playing card as one of your cards because your your C in December is cards and it can be playing cards. It can be gift cards. It can be uh, greeting cards. So there we go. And we have a space to write on the back and we have a little journaling card. I love the way that turned out. Okay, so um, next I think we'll take you know what? Let's do the cardinal next. And for this one, I have, I have, and maybe for a couple of them, I have this that was in my dad's stash. And so I think we'll go ahead and take a piece of this. And you see, we even have a little bit of water damage here. And I am going to use the the double-sided tape again. Okay. But again, you could use sticker paper. And remember, even weird sticker paper like the CD sticker paper that you might you might find at a yard sale or at um, or somebody might give to you. Do, do people give you stuff? Have you let people know what you do? Um, people give me stuff. I get all kinds of interesting. <laughs> okay, so then we can just go ahead and pull this off. Sure we can. Find a place where you can get it to pull off. Okay, 
Now at the corners, I'm going to go ahead and turn them in. It's very sticky. <laughs> okay. And then I can just come over and put this on. And trim around it. So that. And you could go ahead and set up a whole bunch of them and then trim them all. You can, um, depending on your, you can also just put some glue in the center and then sew around them. You've seen me do that before with the, the beach ones, the Julie and Shelly at the beach cards that I have. This is not new, but I figured it was time to, to do it again. Okay, so there, now we have a journaling space on the back. Um, I do wanna remember, I want to use this bag that this came in. Okay, so I purchased these these cards from Spectrum Art Creations, and I thought that this um, would give me a chance to uh, talk about my mom and dad and my brother and sister. Um, so I I put that in here. Now I had gotten these poinsettias. I think they came from Hobby Lobby, and I just thought that that would be really pretty on there, and. Um, But I did, I did think that it needed something behind it because I um, didn't like the back. <laughs> and the back is no big deal, but for some reason, it's, it's bothering me. So I have a used dryer sheet. So I always forget to use dryer sheets. But my husband has decided that he will do the laundry on the weekends because he's out there in the garage and I always, you know, I forget and it takes me a couple days to do the laundry and he gets it done in one day and it drives him crazy that it takes me <laughs> a couple days. So I'm like, okay, go ahead. I was bothered at first, but then I was like, you know what, dude, you go ahead. So anyway, um, but he remembers to use the dryer sheets. That's the other thing. So that's pretty cool. And so we we have dryer sheets where we not so much had dryer sheets when because I would I would forget. Okay, so I'm gonna put I'm gonna double this. What if we use the, the piece? Put this one over here. And then I have a piece from Okay. Get it. Got to get it to stick down good and pull it up. So I just about have, uh, well, one Christmas tree is decorated. That is the Santa and Mrs. Claus Christmas tree. I collect Santa's, Mr. and Mrs. Santa Clauses. If, uh, so, okay, so this is going to go in. Now it's only going to go down that far. So I'm going to want to cut this down. Okay, so I'm going to cut it right to here. Okay, and then so that this is ready, ready to go in the journal, go ahead and add the double sided tape to the little pocket and have that ready. And let's see. I think we'll go ahead and grab this dot, dot, dot of bling. And we'll, 
it's got three. Okay, and we'll go ahead and put two down and then put the third one down. I was thinking about fingernail polish, but I think I really like that. Okay, and then this can go down here. It'll go in. Okay, there's that. And then, and then, and then, I'm gonna add some washi down here. Okay, onto that plastic also. Okay. So just cut that down and we have another journaling card ready for my, um, my December daily and for the base. Okay. So we've got the fluffy dryer sheet. We have the poinsettia and we've added the bling. We also added this, um, to the back of the journaling, journaling card. So um, when it gets time, I might write memories or, you know, or find something that says memories on it and put that on the back. Anyway, but that's our number two. And that would be our base. But we also got our little um, envelope ready for it. I love to use these because then you can see the whole thing and it can be it can be part of the um the decoration there. Oh, I did have music also and I love to put music with the cardinals. Yeah, we'll put that down there. Okay. And I think we have yeah, I have a couple pieces here. So I have a spot over here that I'm putting the extra little pieces and then I'll try and use them all up while I'm making this video. So are you enjoying the Christmas? videos um, and I need your input on what you want to see in 2022 um, what kind of things you would like to see so okay there we go and I can there's still a place I can still write at or write I can still add some words like like silent night or something can still go on there I love it love it Okay, so for our third idea, I think we'll take, um, let's take Santa. And um, I wanted to add the gold pen. And I checked to make sure that it worked on this one. Okay, and it work, it's working. So let's go ahead, pull out our scratch paper. We're going to go all the way around this one with our gold pen. Now this is the gold pen that comes in a set from Dollar General. And I want you to notice that it is working really well. Again, I, um, I left it alone for a couple days. I didn't do anything to it. I just left it alone, um, sitting upside down and it has re um, generated itself. It sent the ink down onto the tip. So it has redeemed itself. I am, I love these pens. So again, this is the Dollar General pen. And it comes in a set, I think it's six or seven pens. Um, these are some of them. So yeah, there's, it's eight pens. So those are the colors that you get um, for $3. So I highly recommend it. Um, and so there we have Santa. And I'll go ahead and I will add the outside around the one that is going to be in today's gift. Today's present. 
So yeah, the presents continue. When I have them and it just happens that I'm, um, after I finish this video, I'm pr doing uh, presents and I'm doing the sale from Friday. So um, that was impromptu. They, they invited me, uh, I, I don't, Tuesday or Wednesday. So yeah, see, it doesn't like to go for a long time, but it does work. So we'll just set it upside down again and let it let it reactivate and it'll be fine. So I'm going to put that in the, uh, the ones for the presents. And there we have Santa. We'll let this, we we'll say we're going to let this dry. We're going to go ahead and add him onto, um, onto here. And again, I'm going to use the double-sided tape. Okay, so I this is um, paper from the Hobby Lobby 8.5 by 11 paper pad. I think it was called Merry and Bright or something like that. It was the brighter one that I got. And we'll add that there. Okay. And then I use the Hobby Lobby punch to get that look. I'm going to go ahead and just get an idea of where I want. I want to see some stripes down here. So we're going to go ahead and we'll flip this over. Okay. So we have all that writing space. And then I think so that we can keep it closed. I'm going to come over here. And in with the book edges, I have some of those little teeny tiny paper clips. I just keep them up here in a, a little set of drawers. Okay, so I think he needs a paper clip to hold that closed. Okay. So I really like that. Um... Let's see. Okay, so we have a canceled Santa stamp. I'm just going to rip around this one. I like that we also have the wreath. So we're going to keep that wreath. Okay. Okay, I'm going to put this on the back. And it's got gold around it. Do you see that? It's got gold going around the outside. Okay, let's go ahead and grab. Now this we could have glued because it's paper to paper, but that's okay. sideways or crooked there we go okay so okay um this would be funny with a naughty nice okay I've got this cute little happy holidays here I like that okay so we can just put that on there
I'm gonna grab the well, I was going to grab the Dollar Tree pen. I have two of them. <laughs> They're not there. Okay, so let's go around this. With the gold pen. I wonder if we should go around. This also, yeah. This takes to these cards really, really good. Might have to go get me another set. Like, I really like this. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do a little decoration. So I'm starting at the top, pulling it down, just make a little little decoration in each corner. Okay. Um, and I think we'll put this right here. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so we have our little paper clip. That's going to keep this closed. Now, we can go ahead and add... I have this and this. So a little piece of... Is that gonna fit? Oh, I actually like it showing with those numbers. Cause you know me and the numbers, I, I like the numbers. Okay, this we're gonna go ahead and cut this side down. So let's cut right here. Okay, this one I want to be inside. I want just the green one to show on the outside. Okay, and I can go ahead and give this a fold in rather than cutting it off and wasting it. Okay, and then we can go ahead and put that in. And, ooh, I like it. Okay, so... Looking to see if I have any thread. I do have just a little bit, but I do know that I need a pokey tool, even though it's single. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go ahead and I just need two holes. Okay, we'll go down and back. So another way to use a playing card is to go ahead and attach it just like that. And imagine any of these could be a, then put onto a card front. I should have pulled out a card front. Speaking of cards, did you see yesterday's video where I made the accordion? Ah, you guys, it did not, it did not tighten. I have no strength in my left hand. Okay, yeah, it's good enough. It's good enough. I'm going to go ahead and, well, let's try it one more time. Okay, and then I'll tie it one more time, and then I'm just going to cut it off. I'm not going to put any little fancy, fancy dancies in there. Okay, but... There we have our fun little card. And now you can see why I added the paper clip. <laughs> okay. Um, and then we might want to add something fun up here at the top. 
we have this little piece of the lace. So I think that'll be fun. I had <clears throat> some of these funky fibers. I think this is the last one of Christmas that I have. Um, you might have gotten some of these fibers in uh, other, when I've done kits. Okay, so there's some green. That's kind of fun. Then I have my, this gold. And I heard that Spectrum Art Creations is going to have a Thursday sale. And she's going to have yarn and trims. I do not know exactly what kind of yarn and trim she's going to have. If you are a yarn and trim person, check out uh, Maddie over at Spectrum Art Creations for her Thursday live sale. You've seen a lot of the fun things that I've gotten. I have gotten from her, uh, her sales, her live sales. Okay, I'm using my Tim Holtz Tiny Attacher. I finally added staples back into it. So there's that. And then I think I want to add, yeah, I think I'll add that right there. Okay, so hopefully we, we've been using the tape, so hopefully we have some glue. So we'll put the, the poinsettia down. I do have a holly leaf. I'll grab that. Add some glue to the back of it and set it down. So I have been invited to sail uh, again in January. It'll be the third Friday in January. Um, and I'd like to know what you would like to see. This time it was just, I grabbed things, the boxes that were easy to reach and because um, I didn't have any time, but I do have a little bit of time to think about it. So, okay. So there is another way to use a card. We've gone ahead and made a little flip tag here. You have places to write. You and we added Santa to the back, so you have interest on the front and the back. And we've used our cute little Tim Holtz um, paper clip here. So let's go ahead and that was Santa and the dog. So we've done Santa and the dog, the cardinal, and the um, the newer Santa. Let's do the chickadee. The chickadee. Okay. For the chickadee, I'm thinking it, it just looks like winter to me. Okay. So I'm like, oh, that's pretty. Kind of like this with it too. Maybe some of the gold. I'm going to tie this in a knot. It's going to make it easier to just, um, I think it'll make it easier. As long as I can get around all the pieces and pull. Okay, there we go. Oh, that's pretty. I like that. Should have done the, um, the tie. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and turn this to its edge. So I'm holding some in front, and I'm going to go ahead and tack this down, but hoping that I can, yeah, cover up the, cover up where I stapled it. That worked. Sometimes we get lucky. Okay, I do have my Dollar Tree, um, double-sided tape. Um, I believe that this one is still going to be a, a 
a bargain or a deal. Okay, let's go ahead and add it across. And then we'll cut this piece off. Save that over here. Got my little, little pile over there that I'm saving. My double-sided tape. Okay, there we go. And then we can put this on here. I like that. It's a little, it's different. Okay, and then I was thinking this washi, I think we might have to put down some double-sided tape just because, um, just because, just because that is the very end of the roll. And hooray, we're using, we used a roll of washi. Okay. So do you use playing cards in your in your journals or projects or have you? What is your favorite way of using them? Okay, so there's oh I just really like this. Okay. And we'll go ahead and cut that around there. We have we can write, put words down here or up here. Um, I think maybe we'll go ahead and add one of our poinsettias up here. So this is an EK success, I believe. Punch, it was a set of two flowers. You see me use the other flower for fluffy flowers and then I do this one for poinsettias. And I cut out several at one time. Be really careful about doing that. Um, the fluffy flower punching is what gave me trigger thumb or that's what set off my trigger thumb a few years ago. If you are, if you were here back then when I had that Oh my goodness, my crazy thumb. Okay, so I really like that. I think that that is a lot of fun. And like I said, we can put a word here or down here. That gives us another card. Okay, so let's go ahead and now we're gonna play with Santa here. And I do have um, the tags that I get at Dollar General. Okay, so I have one of these little tags and I'm going to want to add that to the back back here. Okay, now I'm also going to get into my stash of pieces of scraps from making things this week. Let's see if we've got anything else besides those. Oh, we do have, we do have this. Let's go ahead and cut this down a little bit. Okay. We're going to make a little, another little scrappy note thing. Um, I did use the, oh well, what we can do is we'll go ahead and cut this in half. And put those in there, kind of side by side. Okay, and then we'll put the, the wrapping paper. He's so cute. I'm going to put him in here. Okay, and that, we're going to turn that over. I want to see the wrapping paper. Okay, so we'll have the wrapping paper and the tag. The tag's going to come up a little bit off the top, but I don't want the wrapping paper to come up off the top. Okay, 
You know what I want to do? I want some lace. Just a little piece of the lace to come across. Okay, so put the lace down. Make sure everybody is straight. We're going to add that. Okay, so we've got that little bit of lace coming across the top of Santa. And while well, I'm trying to remember where the... I'm going to go ahead and add two and two. Okay. That's all attached. Okay. Then we're going to come down here and fix that because we... ended up longer. Okay. Okay. So now what he's going to become is if he's going to be able to sit on top of a page. Okay. So this little card will sit on top of one of the smaller pages. And so let's go ahead and give it some some fluff up here at the top. So we're gonna want that. I really like what we've been doing with this lace and the gold and this green piece. And I'm cutting one, one gets cut. Okay. Okay, let's go ahead and we need to get that to go through. So I'm just going to kind of twist it just so that hopefully I can grab all three pieces. It worked. Yay. And then I'm going to go ahead and glue, or not glue, we're going to staple this down because that uh, adds less bulk than a knot. Okay, so there we go. And now we'll go ahead with our poinsettia. There he is with his list. His list is behind him. He's got a little black book. So he might have a double list. <laughs> Casey, I, I can't imagine that he would lose anything. So it's probably his portable list. I wonder if it is synchronized. <laughs> or if he changes something on the little list, if he has to go change it on the big list. Okay, so this will be that. So for a base, we've added way more than um, what is required. But I think it's pretty fun here. We do have the words, be merry. On my sticker sheet from Dollar Tree. Oh, no. Sorry, this is my sticker sheet that was sent to me um, from Lisa in Happy Mail. And I've got it right here so that I remember to use it. Okay, so we've done one, two, four, five. We'll do one more. 
And for this one, we are going to go ahead and we're going to fold and fold. Okay. We'll cut it. Okay. Then we're going to go ahead and add him. Pull this one over, okay, and fold it. Okay, then we're going to add our double sided tape to the back. And you're going to see in the description box today and in Scrap All About It with Dear Julie Julie, it will show up in a little bit. It, I just scheduled it. Um, a Halloween flip through video that showed up and it showed you some of these ways that I use playing cards in a Halloween journal. So, and it had a lot of really good ideas in it. So I wanted to, um, to post that because it, it really did have a lot of good ideas. It was one of those videos that I was like, oh, wow. I, you know, some of these things we do them and then it's, there's so many things to do we forget. So there we've rounded the corners of this one and we have an accordion journaling spot. I think I want to use another one of the paper clips. Oh, something was stuck. And um, to keep this closed. Okay. I like my paper clips to the right. You might like yours on the left. And so go ahead and put it however you like to have yours. I think for this one, instead of having a, the piece come out the top, I'm going to actually come inside and come around and come up and tie this one. Okay. So come around, come up, and tie this one. Okay. So for it to be a journaling card, I want there to be some place to actually journal. So we've done that. We've added that with this. I am going to come in and... I have another washi tape. There it is. Like, where did it go? Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and washi tape this into the center. Okay. And then we've got a hold it down. Okay. It's a from the address stamp from somebody. It's this little Santa and I'm just going to go ahead and put that right in here. And then I have this piece of scrap paper and I have this little piece of washi. So we'll put this little piece of washi down. And then we have this scrap paper from the video, from the recycling day video. We'll add that in there. Okay, and then we'll close this off. Okay. I really wanted to add something to the end of this. Oh, how about a 
How about a 2021 sequin? Chair is extra squeaky today. So we are expecting rain again. And I noticed the lights on at Mountain High Ski Resort. So that's good news. Either they're making snow or they, well, they probably got some in that snow the other day and they're probably making more. So it's really cool to see that. We can see that from our house. So, and I noticed it, I noticed it last night when I went to the store, but then I noticed it again that it was still on this morning. So, um, so they're probably making snow. Okay, so there is that, and it's going to go ahead and hang off the edge, but we have an accordion, okay? So you can go ahead and add pictures, add journaling. Not real sure about this, but I've already put it in here, so it's, it's going to live here. We'll just add some. Add some glue. And we'll put this back on. Okay, so really fun ways to use playing cards. I'm just going to do the six today because I really do need to get on and um, start getting all the presents and the items from the sale um, into the mail, from the sale into the mail. So, so we have our cardinals and our chickadees. We have our three Coca-Cola Santa cards. And we have our old fashioned Santa here. Also, which one is your favorite? I love the cardinal. And I love, I love the way this one turned out. So um, what is your w favorite way of adding journaling space to a, we'll put him right there, to a um, playing card? I'd love to know. So make sure you come back um, and answer that question. What is your favorite way to use a playing card? And I have this little set, and I'm missing one of the cards, but I'll have it because it's here somewhere. So I'll have the three Coca-Cola cards and one of these for you. And yeah, so, and there's several other ways to use playing cards. Don't forget to check out the Halloween flip through that's in the description box down below for more ideas. But I, I really, I think they're a lot of fun and they're plentiful. So I, I am lots of fun designs. Um, uh, not always, uh, cheap. Some of them are, are a little pricey, but there you go. Find something to celebrate every day. Have an amazing day. Make sure you've subscribed and that you've given it a thumbs up. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye. If you are a yarn and trim person, um, spec it. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Fast, sort of. <laughs> Really, really hard to thread that in there. <laughs> How about in our... Oh, I hope I didn't lose our little magic needle. It was here on the table. Okay, whoop, sorry.